Hey survivors, in this video I'm going to be talking about the audacious and arrogant narcissist. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can email me at narcsfeathercoaching at gmail.com. The Audacious and Arrogant Narcissist Narcissists show a lack of respect and a willingness to take surprisingly bold risks. They have an exaggerated sense of their own importance or abilities. And they don't take into consideration what you want or how you feel. It's all about them and what they are trying to extract or obtain from you. Their audacity and arrogance reflects their entitlement to you whenever they want. You might be trying to move on, but it will appear as though the narcissist doesn't get it. As though they don't understand that you want nothing to do with them. They believe that you still want them and you cannot live without them. They will act as though you still belong to them. Like an object or a prized possession. They believe that they can come back and have you whenever they feel like it. This is due to their audacity and arrogance. They have no respect for you. They don't really care about what you want or how you feel. All they care about is what they want, which is whatever they are trying to take from you. They don't come back to give anything to you. It's all about them. They have nothing to give. But due to their exaggerated sense of their own importance or abilities, they assume that it should be a privilege for you to, to have them in your life. They don't really care about what you want or how you feel. They don't understand that you no longer feel the same way about them. They don't understand that they have nothing to be beneficial or favourable to you. They exaggerate their own importance or abilities so they believe that they have a lot to offer you. They believe that you should feel privileged to have them around. The narcissist almost expects you to take them back. They expect you to want them. Because they have done this so many times in the past, where they have successfully manipulated their victims by imitating their wants, needs or desires. So now they are feeling great pleasure or satisfaction from when their manipulation has been successful in the past. It makes them feel as though they are worth something or as though they have a lot to give when in reality they never had anything to give.
They manipulated their victims into believing that they had something to offer them, to which they never followed up with action. But because their manipulation has been successful in the past, they attribute this success to being a part of their character and personality, when really they ne never would have been successful without the manipulation or deception. They are so used to their victims falling for their manipulation and buying into whatever fantasy or dream they are trying to sell them. They believe that their manipulation tactics can seduce or win over whoever they want because they have worked for them in the past. But they don't consider that you are no longer susceptible to their manipulation tactics. They don't consider you are aware of the game they are trying to play and aware of what they are trying to get from you. They don't understand that you want nothing to do with them. They have an exaggerated sense of their own importance or abilities. They believe that they are something great or something you would want in your life. But most of this is just to protect their fragile egos. They have to feel as though they are something that you would want or else they would feel worthless and insignificant. Their arrogance is a defense mechanism against their low self-worth and low self-esteem. This is why they have to force themselves upon you and almost demand you to want them, demand you to need and desire them in your life. They cannot deal with the fact that maybe you don't want them anymore. It's too painful for them to accept. They would rather live in this fantasy world, believing that they are something valuable or significant to you. Even if you don't want anything to do with them. Because really this isn't about you. It's about them regulating their emotions and protecting their fragile egos. They think that you're trying to punish them for what they did to you. Or you're playing a game with them just like they were playing a game with you. They're not taking you seriously. It's just part of the game to them. They don't want to accept or understand that you really want nothing to do with them. They will twist or reinterpret everything you are doing to separate or divide yourself from them and look at it as though it's only a matter of time until they get back with you again. They will continue to watch or stalk you, whether on social media or in person. Due to their distorted way of thinking, their lack of respect and their exaggerated sense of their own importance or abilities, they really believe that you still want them.
they will be waiting to punish you for rejecting them. Narcissus cannot deal with rejection. When you reject a narcissist, you are causing a narcissistic injury. They see it as though you are trying to punish them. It makes them feel worthless and insignificant, undesirable or not wanted. When you reject them or make it known that you want nothing to do with them, they can become obsessed and start stalking you. So they will be waiting to punish you for rejecting them and not giving them what they wanted from you. Because that's what all of this is about. It's about them extracting or obtaining something from you. They might exaggerate their own importance or abilities, but deep down, they know they have nothing to give you. They keep coming back to you because they know that you have everything they want, not the other way around. But they know that you're going to want something from them in return. They know they can't just come back to you without having anything to give. So along with their audacity, they display a sense of arrogance, exaggerating their importance or abilities. And this reflects their entitlement to you whenever they want. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. We have a private Reddit community where survivors and thrivers can share their experiences and knowledge. If you are interested in being a part of this community, you can sign up for our Patreon page. The link is in the video description. Check out the Narc Survivor merchandise store where you can purchase your own Narc Survivor t-shirt or mug. We have a variety of designs and it is a great way to support the channel. The link to our Narc Survivor merchandise store is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.